Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing a Ben Stokes Player Edition, top of the range GM, straight after this. So firstly, thank you very much to Rotho from the Discord server. You'll remember he's the one who sent me the uh, XX Cricket Laminates. And he's actually sent me two more bats, which we're gonna um, see over the coming weeks. So this is the first one. And uh, yeah, what more can I say? You can uh, price these yourself in the shops. Um, Australia, they're about $1,400. So this is premium original LE limited edition Willow. The top of the, the tree as far as Gunnamora are, con are concerned. I'll bring that up. And this is a player edition. And it's obviously the diamond shape, but it's got the player's own uh, shape. So you can see that there. And it looks lovely, doesn't it? It's very narrowed at the toe there. All that wood up in this area here, just straight in the guts of it, uh, which sort of suits such an aggressive player that he is. And obviously it's got the Ben Stokes um, laser engraving there. BS55, made by England's best. You've seen Garner Moore stickers before, they are the top of the tree. Uh, and they're still going with this clear background here, so sometimes you do get this bubbling effect. But I still like it, because it's showing off the wood, which I think is, is the whole point of it. But yeah, that's all textured, GM, DXM, uh, WWGM Cricket, DM-Cricket, English Willow, Handmade in England by Gun and Moore since 1885. Conforms to the MCC Law 5 for maximum improved bat size. And you've got uh, conforms to the laws of the uh, game. So this is a class A bat um, as far as those um, classes of bats are. And it does have a stamp at the top here. Okay, so it's got number 21 here on this side and it's got what I think is GM on this side so that's really nice so once again you got that hex grip um, which I did have on my Eclipse but I took it off I didn't like it so that Eclipse is gone yeah that's a nice bat so the, the um, diamond is actually a 540 mil blade slightly shorter Let's see what this is. Measuring from the face. And it appears to be 55. So 550. So it's slightly shorter um, than a full size, uh, but it's definitely a centimeter longer than the normal one. And that means it's still a short handle bat, uh, which you can see on the handle itself. Uh, if I put it that way, maybe a short handle, you can see there. And this has still got the tag on it and it's a number three for pickup. So all the uh, five star bats, the 808s and above, 808, 909, uh, I think that includes Signature LE. So it goes 808, Signature LE, 909 original original le and includes the players editions when they're made the bat maker actually uh, who signs off on it will give a pickup index um, and you can read what that should be so it just helps you uh, selecting the bats now one thing i was there was a conversation on the discord service from some bat repairers about uh, which handles are lasting the longest and um, somebody said rarely see uh, repairs on GM handles and that's because they're so thick uh, through here. Um, they maintain a lot of width up here um, which, which sort of helps that twisting and they're really good quality. So that's something you should know about Gun & More handles, whatever grade you're buying, is they're very good quality. Now once again, out of the factory, it's got the extra tech already applied and the stickers over the top. They do that because they don't want the stickers to bubble up. Original LE Willow. So. You've got that nice heartwood running down the right hander's inside edge. And I'll give you a count. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a bit of an eleventh there. So very nice grains. A little bit of a not peeking through there, but that's outside the playing area. Back of the bat, stunning as well. Yeah, really good quality willow. Uh, and that shape, let's just put it through the gauge to see what happens. So GM are all now four and a, four and a half uh, mil camber faces. I don't think they do the flat face, but correct me if I'm wrong, you'll know on their, on their uh, book of cricket. And that goes almost up to the top. You can see that's a really lovely full shape, domed, and probably peaks in that mid position there. Um, and it looks like it's sacrificing about three mil on the spine. So imagine I'm gonna measure about, out about 64 mil on that. Let's get straight into those specs. Up here at the shoulders, 14.7. Uh, push down here in the center, 37.4. On the edge here, there is a bit of rounding. They have tried to bone that, so I'm going to just go a little bit beyond that. It's 40. Um, those toe, that toe looks so small. This gauge has actually just been set to 64. Let's see what happens. It's slightly higher. I'll just open that up a bit. So what's that? 65. Okay, so, yeah. Um, and I'll bring this over to do the toe. This looks very thin. Yeah, 19. And in the center there, 24. This is a pro's bat. So he wants the maximum power. He doesn't buy the bats. He doesn't care if they're gonna break at the toe. He's not concerned about toe shape and things like that. I've got to say to you that if you're an amateur player and you're not very good, please think twice before you spend a lot of money on bats with thin toes. Because this one here, if you really try to play a grubber of a shot and hit that toe edge, it's definitely gonna break. I have no doubt about that. Obviously with knocking in, it's gonna improve it. And GM do do a fairly firm press and we'll see that. Uh, but yeah, those toes are not made to withstand you trying to belt the living crap out of balls. The hitting zone is from here to here. If you're hitting down here, and I've heard it said before, you've got bigger problems than the width of the toe. Yeah, I, I really like it. It's a, a really nice shape, real beautiful player profile. Uh, what does it feel like in the hands? That thick handle, more round than semi-oval. I'd just call it round, thicker at the, at the bottom hand. And it feels like a 210 to 210 and a half. Okay, that's interesting. AO. That pickup index is saying to you that it's, it's pretty much in the middle, it's gonna be close to its dead weight. So if you're ever unsure, look at the pickup index and the weight and you'll know exactly how it should feel. I'm very, very impressed. Uh, it's a really nice piece of wood. Uh, the finishing by GM is really nice. Under these lights, you know, it's nice and even. There's not any banding tailing off in different directions. Yeah, beautifully finished. The stickers are really good quality. Is it worth $1,400? Well, that's up to you. I personally wouldn't pay $1,400 for a cricket bat ever, particularly when they don't supply a case. I went on about this when we did the Quinton de Cox Players Edition. They should just give you the 20 pound case. It would just help a lot, even if it's not even full length. I don't understand why GM don't do that. I hope you're listening. Uh, you should actually look after the people who are prepared to fork out the most amount of money for your top player shapes. and you. You're doing so many of them at the moment, you might as well uh, look after these people because they're the sort of people who are gonna buy more of them. So if it doesn't represent good value to them, they won't be back. Let's tap it up. Okay, starting at the toe. Yeah, definitely that harder press at the toe. And straight into the meat, which lines up with that And it's just a lovely heavy hitter right there. It's not a soft press. It's a definitely a harder press. So this is gonna take a while, particularly with that thick handle, to come good. Um, so players who are used to those subcontinent bats which have the softer presses to maintain that big profile, 
and also make them feel like they're going straight away. If you buy this sort of bat, you've got to give it time. Don't expect to see the bat performing within a couple of months. Um, six weeks, a couple of games, and then you'll start to feel it as these inserts and the glues start to loosen in them and, and it shakes itself to life. Then they turn into really lovely bats and because of the quality of those handles, they just last. Yeah, I'm impressed. I think it's a really nice bat. It picks up better than its uh, shape says. Um, and I guess that's true of all those player bats. But yeah, that really thin toe, don't really recommend any bats that you're buying uh, looking at those thin toes if you're somebody who really chases pitched up balls and turns half volleys into Yorkers. Um, then this is not for you. But if you can stay back in your crease, watch it onto your bat and play out of the box, so to speak, then you're gonna be hitting up higher. Perfect bat. So yeah, well done to GM. 